guys, Vinci Game. We're back and we're back to Hasbin Hotel. Um, no, Hello Boss update. So, guys, always get it wrong. Uh, Hello Boss update. Big news, guys. We've got a release kind of date for the next episode. It's actually going to be this weekend. And so, expect my reaction as soon as I can get it out. Hopefully, it's going to be um, posted at a rational time because, you know, uh, Hello Boss tends to get posted at strange times sometimes, but we've got an update guys We've got a new gif and it's a new character I believe because I I'm pretty sure I have not seen this character up until now Papa maybe his hand here Because uh, I thought this was blitz guys, but you guys did predict correctly that this apparently is going to be Moxie's father We've got a new gif guys and here it is now when I first saw this gif I genuinely thought it was Moxie dressed up Maybe even as like a uh, striker or something like that, but no, it is uh, it is Moxie's. It is it appears to be Moxie's father. Can I not zoom in? It doesn't like it look like I can. But either way, yes. So that's awesome. I'm delighted that we're going to be meeting Moxie's father. What is the relationship with the other characters? I don't know what that's going to be. I think we can pretty much. I think it's pretty much obvious that Moxie's not going to be a particular fan of his dad. I don't mean they're going to have a particularly good relationship. It's not going to be like Millie and her her parents. More, more, um, kind of more interestingly, I'm fascinated to hear what Blitz's opinion of him is because Blitz tends to like people, guys, apart from Moxie. <laughs> and um, uh, well, actually, no, there are a few people out there he doesn't like thinking about it. But would he dislike? Moxie's dad. I mean, here it's hard to really read Mox, uh, Moxie's dad's uh, expression. I'm afraid I don't. I don't think we've got a name for this guy, guys. When I say I'm, I'm not sure, because obviously there's stuff that's posted on the Patreon, and then there was like stuff with like you know, uh, off-camera footage that that was released like, a few weeks ago, which I didn't cover on the channel. I, I prefer to post post stuff that's actually like you know, officially properly being posted. You know, guys. Um, but I'd be shocked if this isn't Moxie's dad. I guess you could say it could be his brother, but he certainly seems taller than Moxie. I think Moxie's pretty short, isn't he? But I would say that, that he definitely seems to be taller than Moxie. He's obviously got his markings are very different from Moxie's. They look great, though. Because um, Moxie has, like, freckles, doesn't he? I don't think we've got any shots of Moxie in, in, in this bunch of uh, gifts. But yes, I'm pretty sure that Moxie generally is just like very freckly, isn't he, when it comes to his marks. Whereas this guy has a lot more like Blitz style uh, markings. I, that, that, that's the way that I read it. And so we we can pretty much confirm now that this is definitely him. It's probably even the chair that that, um, that, that he's standing next to in the new gif here. Uh, this is definitely still Moxie though. I, I, I did speculate that maybe this could be uh, Moxie's dad here, but the tale's completely wrong though. So... Mox, uh, Blitz and Moxie are in prison for whatever reason. I don't think that's going to be a flashback. I think it's just going to be something that's going to happen in the episode. Um, as far as this character goes, I would imagine that it's just um, Moxie's dad's business partner. Obviously, this actually is Moxie with the bow tie and everything here. Uh, tell your dad it's the salesman. So, obviously, he's literally talking about dad. Because um, I did speculate that it could be you know, something else. <laughs> Although, unless Moxie's dad is called Moxie. No, 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 no. That's ridiculous. He must be talking to Moxie. Because that's why Millie's reaction to this character is so calm and registered. Uh, but guys, I thought I'd get you this update. Because I know that a lot of you don't um, follow these accounts on Twitter. And I'm not really sure where else they're getting posted. I don't think they're getting posted at anywhere on the Instagram. It is such a shame that the social media aspects of Hell of a Boss and Has Been a Tale has been shrunk so much because a couple of years ago it was insane how much stuff there was uh, to cover when it came to like you know outside of the episodes the episodes are, are generally dropping like every pretty much every four months at this point now um and you think about i was just thinking about the trailer and i was thinking all the things that are going to be that were planned for this year but then i remember guys this trailer was for 2022 so that was last year and so, since then, we have had two official episodes. Has been hotel announcements. Obviously, we've had loads of wonderful gifts and previews for that as well. And then a boatload of merchandise videos as well. And so, it's tough, guys. It is, it's, it's a real quiet era. era, era. And you know, every now and then, when I, when I post these, when these, I post these updates and everything, I get comments saying, oh, wow, I, I kind of completely forgot about this show and everything. 
and that is to be expected, guys. And so I, I, I presume that the... I presume what happened with the Instagrams is that what happened with uh, Octavia happened and then the Hasman Hotel got uh, got signed up to the TV companies and everything and they just thought, you know what, let's just cut all that out. And it is a shame, guys. Um, Busy Pop has very recently put out there re reminding people that the uh, stuff on the Instagram accounts was not canon. I, I think that they said, I think she said outside of Blitz, maybe? Um, and so that's obviously important to remember. That, be that being said, though, even though it wasn't canon, it added so much to the fan base and kind of kept it alive along these very quiet months. I look at my own channel, guys. And yeah, it's it's like long periods of doing other stuff, and then suddenly, like you know, like free things for Has Been Hotel, uh, Hello Boss related, uh, and they seem to be like you know all in the same air, air, area and everything. Yeah, it's here. It's like three straight videos of uh, of um, Has Been Hotel and Hello Boss, and then nothing for a while, and then suddenly like a bunch more videos. And so I guess that that I mean the thing is I cover the previews, and like the, the previews are obviously dropped just before the episodes. That being said, guys, I don't think we're getting any more gifts. This is, uh, like, four, four days before the weekend. And so I'd imagine this is actually going to be the last gift that we get. I I would like there to be one this Friday, confirming what time it's going to be posted and what day. They tend to be Sundays, don't they? They do tend to be Sundays. So I'm predicting Sunday. And if we could get a time window, that'd be great. <laughs> You know, I like to get my reactions out as quickly as possible, guys. And so that's why I like to uh, be able to, uh, you know, plot my, plot my day around the episode and everything. But all in all, I ain't got anything else to say apart, apart from this is presumably Moxie's dad's house. It definitely appears to be underwater. Why this guy is using signs in the first place is very interesting. I was going to speculate maybe because it's underwater, but that can't be the case. He's a shark. Presumably a shark can talk underwater. But yes, this, this ring of hell certainly seems to be very um, damp. It seems to be just straight up underwater. And so maybe SpongeBob will be kicking around. Uh, and I presume that he, that this shark guy is a business partner with uh, Gangster Moxie's dad here. <laughs> and again, if there's any information that, uh, that you guys have learned outside of what I cover on the channel. Uh, oh, Rick Mail's trending. Okay, I need to go and tweet something about that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, then, then the, the, do, do let me know. Like I say, this is definitely not Moxie. I, I for some reason, I thought it was at first, but it, well, uh, uh, it's obvious why because he looks quite similar to him. But I'd imagine his horns are pretty different. They are not. No, they're pretty damn similar. Okay, so he, he definitely takes after his father. Then I wonder if we will see his mother. Oh, he's got a golden tooth as well. Blitz will be very impressed by that. Possibly not. Angel does has a. Golden tube, doesn't he? Pretty sure it does. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If there's anything else that I've missed out in this video, please let me know. The fireplace is here. You can see the green on here, and so this chair has been swung around to face where Blitz is sitting down here. And what's Blitz's reaction? What's Blitz's opinion? Why are they there? I presume maybe Moxie's dad has a target. Why would an imp have a target, though? Because he's a lone shark, presumably that's what I presume it is, guys. Um, uh, yeah, what is Blitz's opinion of this character going to be? I think he's going to like him. We shall see, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Uh, and yes, looking forward to this new episode. And yes, um, we sh I shall see you there bright and early or late and dark <laughs> this weekend. Please like and subscribe. All the good stuff. I'll leave you game and I'll see you next time.